Hello Houdini SQ users, my name is Kevin and today we're going to be looking at the new Evernote integration which was introduced in the newest update of Houdini 1.8.95 build 5. Now Evernote, if you're wondering what that is, is a free to use service that lets you synchronize notes and files across several different devices. First we're going to show you how to set it up. Let's go to the settings tab and then let's go to our profile under my settings. Now you'll notice that there is a new Evernote tab down here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And we have several options. We can enable our Evernote sync. So let's go ahead and check that. And of course, before we can begin, we'll have to authenticate the application. So let's go ahead and click the authenticate button here. What that'll do is that'll open up a new tab that'll ask you to authorize your Evernote account with Houdini ESQ. So let's go ahead and click the authorize button and copy paste the authorization code into Houdini ESQ. Okay, let's go ahead and click save. And now our Evernote account is successfully synced with Houdini ESQ. So let's go ahead and show off some of the functionality. Here I have a matter, Jamie Lannister. And we're gonna go first to the notes tab and we're gonna add a new note in Houdini. Now you'll notice that we have the new Evernote checkbox here. So let's go ahead and check that to denote that we want to save this note to Evernote as well as Houdini ESQ. Okay, so let's go ahead and click save. And now we have our note in Houdini. So let's go ahead and tab over to Evernote. And now you'll notice that we have a new notebook within Evernote that has the matter name. In addition, we can see our new note that we've copied over from Houdini ESQ. So let's go ahead and modify this note in Evernote. We're going to use the classic Hello World. And then click Done. Now, when we go back to Houdini, we're going to click our Evernote refresh uh, to instantly refresh any updates from Evernote. Now keep in mind, this will automatically happen if you don't click it, but we're going to force this along a little bit quicker for the purposes of the video. So let's go ahead and click this button. And now let's go ahead and open our note. And we'll notice that the Hello World line is now in our Houdini ESQ note. We can also create a brand new note in Evernote if we wish. So let's go ahead and click Done to save it. Now once again, we're gonna go back to Houdini ESQ and click our Evernote refresh. And hey, here's our note from Evernote. Next, we're going to go ahead and show off the document sync functionality. Right here, we have an invoice for this particular matter that we want to sync to Evernote. So let's go ahead and click on the invoice and let's click our briefcase to Evernote icon down here. And we can go ahead and enter in a subject for the note. Now let's go ahead and click done. And if we go over to Evernote, we'll now notice that the invoice has been synchronized to Evernote and you can now open it from Evernote. Additionally, you also have the ability to smart link and add events within Evernote. So let's go ahead and go over how it works. First, we're gonna go back to Evernote and we're gonna create a brand new note here. Let's call it new smart link note. And we can additionally enter in some memo information here. And now we're going to go ahead and create our smart link event. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to start with a tilde and then let's go ahead and put in the name of the matter that you want to smart link with. Next, we're going to go ahead and put in the event type that we want to specify for the smart linked event. So we're going to use phone for phone call. Next, let's go ahead and put in the duration of the event. In this case, I'm going to put 3.0 for three hours. And next, we can optionally specify a dollar amount that we want to assign to this particular event. So we're going to go ahead and specify $500. Finally, we're going to close this smart link with another tilde. Now let's go ahead and click done and let's go back to Houdini ESQ. Let's go back to the notes tab and force our Evernote refresh here. And now we'll notice our new smart link note is here. But also if we go to the events tab, here is our new smart link note event. So let's go ahead and open it. And it's going to have our memo information as well as the original smart link information down here in the memo. According to our smart link that we've specified, it is three hours, $500, and it is a phone call as we specified in the smart link. To summarize, you can create events, 
synchronize notes and synchronize documents to and from Evernote with this functionality. This is Kevin signing off for Houdini SQ. Till next time.